Hi guys, welcome to this quick video unboxing the Tiny Epic Dungeons games. Now I haven't opened these yet, but I've taken the cellophane off just for speed. And as you can see, this bag's still even punched together and stuff, but um, I'm having to do that because, as you might be able to see here, this little arm has fell off and is actually in the bag over here. But I've messaged Gameland Games and I'm sure they'll get back to me with a new copy or a new one or send out a new bag or something. So I'm not really worried about that too much. But these, as you can see, are really cool pieces. That one looks like a kind of vampire Medusa. This fella here looks a bit robot -y. I don't really know who they are or what they do. I haven't really fully looked into it because I quite like the surprise of getting them on the day and being like, oh yeah, these are cool. And this guy whose thing snapped, snapped off looks kind of like an ogre-y, wizard -y thing with a cane. And then like a kind of dragon here and all sorts of bits and bobs. So um, I'm not going to open that today, but I just in case because I need to send it back. But there, so you can have a little look at what some of the pieces look like. Um, I also did get the all in, so I've got the stories one to open as well. So I'll open the first box and see what's inside. As expected, there's a rule book, and in, even inside the box there's a little art which I not was not expecting. Haven't got any other tiny epic games, so this is a first for me. But I really like the look of the gameplay on these. And um, the rule box, nice and small. List of components always useful. Some kind of game setup and rules and things. Basically, you've just got to play through the dungeon and do it in the time limit and beat the boss. If you don't beat the boss in the time limit, then you die, I think. If you do, then you get to win. Um, or if you die, obviously, first, then you're out. This is the deluxe expansion stuff for potions and I guess it looks like another couple of monsters. The couple of little minis there you might be able to see. Not really picked up great by the camera, but they look quite funky. Um, and then these are potions which you don't get in the base game if you do not have the deluxe edition. Um, um, I think these are for one or two player games and then if you've got a three player or a four player game they're just the different amounts that you need to get. Not 100% sure because I haven't played through it yet but um, here's the bag of minis. These all look cool. Um, there's quite a few different ones. I'm trying to see Mr. Is a Gamelin. Mr. Gamelin, I think he's the main character from the box and the actual company brand. Maybe that's in the expansion stuff. But I quite want to see what he looks like because he looks awesome as well. And um, I'd seen the panda somewhere in the other one. The panda guy looks cool as well. So I'm looking forward to opening all these and seeing what they all are. Um, inside here, there's components, some kind of key things, loads of little kind of. Uh, markers for enemies. These are the four enemies you get on your main player scoreboard that show which goblins are out and things and this is your little marker for your track marker for the rounds. And you've got lightning bolts for your energy kind of thing. And then I don't know what all of these pieces are because I say I haven't seen a lot. I've got a lot of funky cool looking things like a spider there. Little troll thing here. Um, weird pieces here which I don't know what they're for. Um, lots of cool components. A lot more than I expected in such a small box. There's four dice here that look really great quality. The black is not just kind of plain black, it's got a kind of shimmering effect through it, and the red's got a kind of black cracked effect through it. And then these dice, I guess, take your round tracker down or up. And these rolls give you like scores for when you're doing different um, stat checks and stuff. You get extra heart, you get extra energy. I'm assuming it's called energy, I'm not sure what they call it in this game, but from what I've seen, that's what they're called. And then you've got your main tiles for your types of goblin, your room tiles, and the things you're going to have to explore. And then these are the cards for your heroes, I guess, and for the enemies. And then the round tracker here as well on the back, that tracks how far you go. Four player games starts here, three player games starts there, and a two player game starts over here, but it's been shined off a lot because of the light. <laughs> Take it out. The pack I need to see some of the others. So, this dragon kind of enemy, then a hydra, you got like Goblin King, the Gorgon, the Seer, and then some character cards here. So, Grok, oh, he looks awesome with his axe. He's most probably who I'd like to try first, potentially, if I don't have the panda as well, but maybe I can two hand it. The Elf Ranger even looks cool with dark eyes and looks kind of semi evil. There's good, like, good, really good art on these and really good quality. As you can see, how the light shimmering on them, the really nice card quality. Sir Lannan, 
a kind of ancient wizard. He looks really funky. And then obviously you've got a dwarf, as you always do in this type of game. And then your round tracker back and front. I'm not sure what Act 1 and Act 2 are differently, but I'm sure I'll find out later on. So lots of cool stuff in here. Let's open these tiles up see what happens. There's a ton of these tiles. You might not be able to see how thick they are, but that's quite a stack of stack of cards even, not a stack. Um, these all look like a lot of different rooms and things, and these are all your oh, lots of enemies. Oh, and you've got items as well. So these are kind of different enemies. Then you've got loads of item cards. And then you've got these four, five, one, two, three, four, six goblin cards. So you get different types of goblins. I believe you're only allowed four or five out at once. If you get any more, it's game over. Um, and then these are all your room tiles. I think that this many of them are room tiles. So that's quite a lot of variability just from the base game. Um, I like having loads of stuff and components and ways of mixing things up. So I'm looking forward to trying out the stories box as well to see what's in there. So let's open that one up as well and have a little look. It's uh, not opening very easily. Here we go. So we've got another nice little adventure story book telling you what your pieces are, what your new rules are, any extra objectives and things. And a really nice little map at the end there of Orgmar, which is quite cool, really well done. Reminds me of the kind of Lord of the Rings type map that you see for Middle Earth. And then pieces inside, um, some little heart pieces, which I guess are tracking for stuff. Um, maybe you've got more heart things in this than you had in the last one, I don't know. I don't know what the hearts are for. Um, then a couple of new monstery type minis here. Uh, don't know what that eye thing is, maybe a tracker of some sort, and an A and a B. Good, not 100% sure what these are for yet. And a load of minis. Ah, oh, there's the panda. He's the guy I was thinking looked really awesome. And then there's like a cowgirl there with a whip. Someone with the hands out. Stop. And the back shining on the back. And uh, there he is, Mr. Game Limb himself. Down the bottom corner of the bag. This is the guy who looks like the Game Limb Games mascot. And then there's more cards and goblins and a few different hero character cards obviously and then a bit of a reference on the back which I didn't see on the others I don't know if this is only in the story mode it would be a bit weird if you didn't have any references in the other box maybe I overlooked them accidentally but here you've got some reference cards oh it's the back of the hero cards so maybe they're on all of the cards these are heroes and then the tinkerer and the mind lasher these are actually enemies I thought that was a hero but not he's a enemy type and the mind lasher is also an enemy type so these you have them on the back and the character cards have got references on the back so that could be really handy for when you're playing with friends having spare ones is always useful and then we've got some more little pieces that add a bit more variability not tons of stuff but more types of goblins more weapons and items Dungeon maps and things, and then fire elemental things and golem enemies, and then a few more rooms, and then some kind of, I don't know what these are, but these must be negative things. <laughs> Sacrifice the minion, rescue the vengeance tyrant. And these are your stories, of course, some kind of in the story you've got to do and set up how you're meant to play the game. Um, from what I've heard, this game is quite difficult already, so I don't know if it's making the game harder or not, but it definitely adds a lot more variability to the game, so I'm really happy that I've got this. Really excited to get it to the table. So also inside the stories box is the map, which again is great quality and looks brilliant. And I'm sure that adds a little bit of extra flavor when you're playing the game. So there's quite a lot of stuff here for something that's called tiny and epic. I can see why uh, the boxes are certainly tiny and the games do look like it's gonna be great fun. I'm really looking forward to getting this one to the table. Have you tried this one? Have you got any other tiny epic games? Leave a like and a comment in the video and um, I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.